Hello guys, it's Jen and it's just me today. Robin and Shelly and I are under isolation. You won't be seeing us together physically for a while. Anyways, today I'm going to be talking about everything red lips. There's so many red lipsticks out there, so many brands, tones, shades, textures, finishings. Honestly, it's quite overwhelming and you only have one lip. If you're one of those people who put on red lipstick and you, you feel like you look like a clown, then you need to watch this video. Okay guys, so that's literally my face right now because as I'm editing, I realized that this camera's focus was like absolute shit. So please bear with me. Uh, there's gonna be some like crappy autofocus, but the content is still good. The first part is how to pick what red lipstick suits you. And then I'm gonna show you guys my lipstick collection. These are lipsticks that generally all work for me. I'm gonna swatch them all. If you have a similar skin tone as me, these lipsticks might be something that you would consider. And then lastly, I'm gonna talk about application tips and some final recommendations for you guys. If you don't wanna watch this whole video, I have all the timestamps of all the important parts down below if you just wanna to skip to certain parts. All the products that I mentioned in this video will also be listed down below. The first general rule of thumb is if you have a cooler skin tone, you'll look better with a cooler red. This can include reds that are more purple or reds that carry more of a blue tone to it. Whereas if you have a warmer skin tone, then you'll look better with warmer reds. For example, reds that carry a bit of pink and orange in it. And the second thing to consider is the lipstick finishing. What kind of lipstick do you usually wear? Are you more of like an everyday, I want something comfortable on my lips? Um, something satin, something matte, something glossy, you like high impact gloss, or do you want something sheer, something like a lip balm? So that's a whole range of finishings that you can consider and pick and choose what you prefer wearing the most. Third is your preference of the look and feel. Obviously different red lipstick shades carry different messages I want to say. Some brighter, poppier shades are more bold and then you have the more classic reds, you know, the Hollywood reds. And then there's darker lipstick shades that carry a more mysterious look. Those usually are like the more purpley reds. So next I'm going to show you my entire lipstick collection and it, from there there's actually different lipsticks from these different categories like cool, warm, different finishings that you can look at and think about you know, which of these lipsticks might suit you. Oh my god, my lips are burning right now after doing that. Like it's all cracked under this red lipstick and it's about to like bleed out. This is what my natural lips look like. It's more medium to dark for Asian skin tone. The first lipstick is Peri Peras Ink Velvet in Sellout Red. This is a ultra bright red with a slight pink and orange undertone. This is actually the older version. They've improved the formula and packaging now. This is more suitable for that Korean makeup style and it's a very moussey texture that leaves an ultra ultra long lasting stain. Next, we have Shiseido's Modern Matte Powder Lipstick in 514 Hyper Red. This one is a slight orange toned red and it has a velvet finish that is very comfortable to wear. Shiseido has a lot of other really good lipsticks. Let us know if you want us to review any. This next lipstick is Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet in Chanel No. 5, the classic. It's a brighter classic red with a slight orange tone and a satin finish. It's what I would call that perfect red carpet warm toned red. Next, we have L'Oreal's Color Rich Moist Matte Lipstick in Bloody Mary. This is a muted dark red. It gives you that very expensive look, but obviously it's drugstore, it's affordable. It has a satin finish on first application, but when it dries down, it dries down to a natural lip-like finishing. Next, we have Etude House Better Lips Talk Velvet. It's a muted red brown, and it looks super nice when patted on the lips. It's got a velvet finish somewhat between a matte and a satin, super wearable. Next, we have MAC Versi Color Varnish in 106. This is a deep warm red with a bit of a brown tone. It's got a delicious high gloss finishing, giving your lips that really, really plump effect. You can also use this as a lip stain with a few pats. This next one is NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Mysterious Red. This is a slightly blue toned red that is a bit muted as well. It's got a true matte finishing that is not too drying, and the pencil makes it super easy and convenient to apply. And then we have Makeup Forever's Artish Rouge Creme in C405. It's a perfect Hollywood cool tone red. It's a very um, 
balanced cool tone I want to say. It's got a satin finish, more of a moist satin finish, and it's very comfortable to wear, but not transfer proof. Next is Chanel Rouge Allure Ink in 152. This is a true deep red with a blue tone. It dries down to a very natural matte finish that is super comfortable to wear, and it does not transfer easily. It also kind of blurs out your lip lines. This next one is Jouer's Lip Creme in Cabernet. This is the perfect wine-toned red. The shade is so gorgeous, but the formula is a bit drying and it's also kind of patchy. Because of this, it didn't wear well after eating and you can tell here that it was actually quite difficult to apply. And finally, my last red lipstick is by Beauty's Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Licorice. This is a borderline purple red, and it's a very lip-like natural finishing that is very blendable. It's perfect for that gradient lip look if you want to just pat it down. All the ingredients from by Beauty are safe for consumption, so it's okay if you eat with this lipstick on. The number one tip I can give you guys at this moment that I can think of is to freaking moisturize your lips because after trying on so many lipsticks, I truly understand and appreciate the value of lip balm. If you don't have lip balm at home, it's fine. I'm sure you'll find a bottle of Vaseline, which is what I've been using after swatching 11 lipsticks. Number two, a lot of people would say lip liner here, but I would say that lip liner is optional. I personally don't really use it. Like I kind of like the lipstick kind of diffused out into like the rim of my lip. So I don't really use lip liner, but if you want like a more bold cut, clean cut kind of red lipstick look, then feel free to go for lip liner. But just remember that the shade has to match your lipstick shade. And then how to apply red lipstick. You start from the center of your lip, where there's the most surface area, and then you move outwards. And when I apply lipsticks on these parts, I actually open my mouth like that so I can get it in. If you've ever seen someone with like lipstick stains on their teeth, you would understand the, like, the cringiness of it. This is how to avoid it. So after you apply the lipstick, especially if it's a satin lipstick or a gloss that will transfer easily, what you need to do is take your finger, put it like in your mouth like this, and like pull it out. And then you'll have like a rim of lipstick. Well, I did it already just now, so you can't really see. But you'll have like a rim of lipstick on your finger, and that's the stuff that would have transferred to your tooth if you had not did that. When you apply matte red lipsticks, you have to wait for your lipstick to dry before smacking your lips. I know it's so tempting to just go like, and then like, you know, move your lips around, but don't do it because your lipstick will dry really patchy. So that's um, that's something to keep in mind. So my last tip would be to keep your color makeup simple. So that includes eyeshadow and blush, because if you go too strong in that, the red lip kind of becomes... That's, that's how you get the clown look, basically, because there's just too much going on on your face. When you're wearing a red lipstick, I personally feel like that it should be the star of the show, you know? It should be like the star of your face, and if you're trying to like steal the show with eyeshadow and blush, it's just gonna be too much. On the other hand, you can actually amp up a bit more on your eyeliner and maybe put on some like thick falsies just to like pull up the glam look and you can also add on the contour but just not color products, so blushes and eyeshadows. My overall favorite is the Chanel Rouge Allure Ink Matte Liquid Lip Color in 152. So unfortunately, I only have the sample size of this and I got this, um, I think I got this after buying something. Oh no, I got this after going to a Chanel event. I haven't used this up yet, but when I do, I will purchase a full size of this. This is really nice. This is actually the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. My favorite budget lipstick, so something that's within, you know, the drugstore range, would be this Revlon Bloody Mary. This is the first red lipstick I've ever owned, and I've used it for so many years now, and I will keep repurchasing this if if they still have it. I'm pretty sure they've like changed packaging by now. This is so old. So I checked and yes, they actually changed packaging. It's much, much nicer now, but it's still under the same name. So if you guys are interested, you can still go buy it. I don't know if the formula is the same though. I hope so. But like, I have really used this up for like a red lipstick. There's only like that much left. This is long lasting. It's comfortable to wear. It's a very nice warm red tone and it's affordable. My favorite red lipstick for when I want a little something extra would be this MAC Versi Color Varnish in 106 No Interruptions. This is a super high gloss lipstick and it really just, it, there's so much impact and it just, it just makes your whole look super slick all of a sudden. So this is something that I would use when I'm going to an event. It's definitely not every day for me. And then I want to have like an honorary mention for a lipstick that I lost 
and I really, 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 really liked it. I am definitely gonna buy it again when I have the chance. It's Maybelline's, um, I think the formula is Color Sensation in Divine Wine. That one is a deep, dark red that really, it's like, it makes your look so expensive and so classy and you look like mysterious mysteriously glam you could be angelina jolie after you put on that lipstick and the formula is super nice and it's maybelline so it's super affordable so that is one that i definitely recommend you guys checking out my overall comment is that most red lipsticks are actually quite universal and what you pick actually depends on you know your price range what you're comfortable wearing and how big your lipstick collection is because i mean if you already have like 10 different lipstick shades but you're kind of like a lipstick collector and you want more then go ahead but if if you're someone who just wants like two to three red lipsticks that are true staples then yeah like you might want to pick more carefully in general i feel like most of the population will be like in the in between lipsticks where it's like classic reds or like the muted reds and i'm definitely in that majority of people but i really find that like those are more wearable if you guys want to compare all of the shades that i swatched today next to each other i will put a photo in our instagram account follow us and check us out it's at era.crew and if you like this video Give it a thumbs up, the usual comment down below, what you liked about it or what you want to see next. I am actually thinking about filming a nude brown, like nude pink brown toned lipstick collection for you guys. So if you guys uh, are interested in that, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you guys next time.